Hey everyone, Eric Caden here in the garden. Haven't done a video for too long. One of the reasons I mentioned in my prior one, we were away for a while on vacation and then I got back and it's been hot and I just haven't done too much in the rose garden. Um, you can see the result of that. A lot of weeds have cropped up. Most of these um, have not been prevented by the pre-emergent, things like nut sedge. Um, but overall, the garden is looking pretty decent. This is our second full bloom cycle. So for you up north, uh, we get another cycle in June into July. We will have another one August and September, and a fourth one usually in October. This is Veterans Honor. I'm six feet tall, and this is probably about seven and a half feet tall now. So I've got to do some deadheading. You can see a lot of the blooms on sunny Sundays are past peak, um, but this one is not. That is just gorgeous. Um, a little smaller in the summertime. We've had highs around 90. We're by the coast, so we don't get much above 90 because of the sea breeze. Um, but we are quite humid. But you can tell a lot of deadheading needs to be done. But still some nice blooms in the garden. A couple that caught my eye were that sunny Sundays. And then some of these crescendo are quite nice as well. The point of this video, let me show you one more jewel, Grace, and before I show you some potential herbicide damage, that is an outstanding bloom. It's ironic because on the whole, I don't have a lot of good blooms right now because we're um, to the point where we need a deadhead, like you can see on a firm. But when you have a garden with over 40 hybrid teas, you can go out there and usually get a vase full uh, for sure in terms of um, giving away flowers. So as I was doing some walking around, contemplating deadheading and putting it off, I noticed that some of my roses were kind of a lighter shade of um, green, almost a yellowish green. And you can see that here. This is on Zach Nobles. Notice that uh, this is a much lighter shade of green than the dark growth uh, down below. I didn't think too much of it, um, but then I saw it on a couple other roses. Again, this is Let Freedom Ring. I thought it might be some type of disease, and it still may be, but there's a reason why I think it's not. Uh, you can see some of the leaves are turning, have a little bit of a uh, purpleness to it, uh, or at least look like they have some type of disease. And then it has like a vegetative growth um, at the top. And then I got a little worried because this can be rose rosette disease. I don't think it is where it gets a, a witch's broom type of appearance. It's usually hyper thorny and, um, and a reddish look to it. Um, this does, um, you know, concern me and I was wondering what was going on. There are excessive thorns, um, but it's on a lot of them. So I was leaning more disease or, um, something going on in the garden. Um, so it's on Let Freedom Ring and Zach Nobles. I just noticed it, uh, over here on Jewel Grace. Again, Jewel Grace is growing great, dark green leaves, but notice this new growth, real, real light yellow. And look how teensy tiny that bloom is. I'll try to compare it to the ones above it. So uh, small, small blooms, um, kind of a chlorosis of the leaves, and some of them did have some purple spotting. So again, I, I thought it could be disease. Sometimes I've seen this with um, powdery mildew uh, before it gets to the stage where you actually have the fungus on the leaves. Um, I don't think it's that, um, and it, it still could be. I'm not 100% sure, but this could be herbicide damage. And here's a good example. The older growth, um, green lush leaves, this is only happening to the new growth. So this, if this is herbicide damage, this occurred in the last three or four weeks. Um, I'm not totally convinced. Uh, I think it is because it's affecting new growth. Uh, it's kind of a chlorosis to the leaves, tiny disformed buds, um, and some excess thorniness. Not so much on this one, but on some of the other ones. Um, I didn't notice it on all the roses. In fact, only just a few of them, but you can see it a little bit here on Gemini. Again, real light leaves, tiny, tiny blooms, and it's mainly affecting the new growth. I also noticed it on Randy Scott. You can really see it here. All the new growth is kind of a bright, bright, bright green. Um, can't rule out disease. You can certainly see some purpleness on these leaves, and this is not what you would have with Rose Rosette. This looks like more like a um, 
uh, anthracnose type of the I might be saying it wrong, but one one of the uh, other diseases, not black spot, not powdery mildew. So I'll keep an eye on it. Um, I think this might be herbicide damage. Um, so then I started thinking back, what did I do to the roses? Um, I mentioned I do spray Roundup in the garden very, very carefully. I don't recall doing that though. I know before our trip, um, the main focus was, you know, getting the irrigation all timed out and making sure everything was good so they still stay watered. And again, this, this is impressive. This hot princess and, and veterans honor up over eight feet. So that part worked. The only thing I can think of is before I left, I, play, I sprayed a little blind side. And what that is, um, that is for nut sedge and it's for lawns. Um, but I think, you know, with having some of this nut sedge on the edge of the garden, I know I sprayed some of it uh, on the edges. Perhaps did I get a little spray drift? Maybe, no matter when I spray with the roses, I'm super, super careful and religious about spraying on calm days, putting my back to the rose, uh, so between me and what I'm spraying. Um, but still it can volatize when it's really hot, like we are here even in the morning. So perhaps a little bit got on there. I'm not overly concerned because the roses are quite healthy. You can see how, how tall they are, but I'll kind of watch it. Uh, but again, it's mainly affecting the new growth of the plant. Um, could it be something with the soil? I guess you can't rule that out, but nothing has changed here. Uh, did a pH and soil test last fall and we really haven't changed things. And the overall growth is really, really good. That three to four week window, um, since it's affecting all of the newer growth, that is about when I put the blind side down, probably about four weeks ago. It is not labeled, uh, this is crystalline by the way, it's past peak, but what a beautiful white rose. Uh, it is not labeled for the landscape, so that's why I sprayed it in the lawn. Um, but again, I did hit the edges of the bed. Uh, so next time, if it was that, which I'll never know 100%, uh, this won't even be close to the beds at all. I'll stay away from them. So comment below, have you had herbicide damage? I know I have had it in the past, um, and it looked a little more... Um, kind of crazy with the growth so i think this is kind of a mild case what my plan is is to just cut this out because this is from the last time we deadheaded um, so i'll just go down lower on the bush and cut that out and get rid of it on the bright side um, have not had any spider mites this year the rotation of avid and also um, tetrasan has worked well you don't want any resistance with that so i've certainly um, done it you know every couple months spaced out and then I have not sprayed for insecticides um, or haven't used insecticides because we haven't had any row shows. Uh, so the beneficial buds are probably helping me out. Uh, this right here is Fragrant Cloud. So you can see the garden is in pretty good shape and that herbicide damage, if it is what it is, um, ironically, it's not on any of these roses. It's only these two beds over here and that is close to where I sprayed the lawn. Um, so I'm leaning toward the blind side um, I haven't sprayed Roundup in a while on these beds, uh, so I don't, don't think it's uh, that. Comment below, what do you think? And as always, I appreciate the new subscribers. I'll leave you with this stunning view of Crystalline. Beautiful, older, but fragrant, slight fragrant to it, white rose. Very, very nice. Have a good one, everyone.